Hello, it's Dr. Triple Seven, and in today's video, I'm doing a video on Windows 8.1 Preview, which is a preview to the update Windows 8.1. It's a free download, and the update to Windows 8.1 will be free as well. It has some new improvements, I'll talk about that later in the video, but in today's video, I'm talking about just installing it, and then a first glance at it. I'm not going to do too much of an overview of it, I'm going to do that for a later video. If you're interested in getting it, you can go to the website below and you have two different options of getting it. You can click get it now and you have the option of getting the update which basically takes your current installation and updates it to Windows 8.1 preview. But I wouldn't suggest this because if you do this you actually cannot upgrade from this preview version to the full version of Windows 8.1 when it comes out because Microsoft does not support that. So to be honest I'd rather download the ISO file which is available right here and then install on a virtual machine which is what I'm doing in this video so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it up and then once I turn the virtual machine on I will get start the recording again and start with you guys alright so I quickly just threw together a simple virtual machine and now we're we'll booting up the Windows 8.1 um, ISO file so we should get a simple startup start file. Now if you're doing the, the other way, which is the updated version, um, all you have to do is actually um, open the file that you download, and then it's going to ask you if you want to update, click yes, and then you're gonna just going to restart the computer, and it's going to ask you if you want to update. And you actually have to update through the Windows 8 store. So heads up there. Now because I'm doing ISO files, it's kind of like a brand new computer, and I'm doing just the simple um, clean installation as if it's a new computer. So it's going to ask you for a, if you do the ISO file, it's going to ask you for a um, product key. Product key is available on the Microsoft website. It's right here. I will have to type it in though. Alright, so I typed it in. Click next. Now because this is a clean computer, I'll go custom installation. And we go uh, a little new. Apply. And then we should be able to go ahead and next. And there we go. Now we're installing Windows. So I will just uh, let it go until it finishes. So now the computer is just going to reboot for us here. And you can tell we have the simple fish that we had before but now we have like it's a bit more colorful I guess an improvement to the last fishy so some of the improvements or um, new features I guess you could say on Windows 8.1 are we do have a start button the start button was brought back to Windows 8.1 but people are still going to be happy I don't think because it still leads you back to the modern UI so it is there, but it doesn't really do anything that people still want it to do. Um, obviously, I think it's still better that it's there because it's a bit easier to use than the little hotspot corner. But um, I still have people think are like the mo modern UI. They have had options though for customizing that, as well as um, you can now boot straight to the desktop. You don't have to download a third-party application. It will actually boot straight to the desktop. Also on the modern UI we have new um, tile sizes so we have an extra large tile size and I think a smaller one as well. We also have new backgrounds, new colors, that kind of stuff. Alright so because this is obviously a new computer according to Windows I have to go through the setup of it so I will go through it with you guys. So PC name, I'll just name it test. I'll make some darker black color. I'll use express settings. I would probably go through the manual way, um, but this is just a virtual machine that I'll probably delete in a couple weeks. So virtual or the express settings is fine. So I'll go ahead and type in my 
Microsoft account. So you have the option for your security code, so you can use your other email address. So they're going to send me an email now, but I'm just going to skip that for now, but I don't feel like doing that. I could really care less if I lose the password for this computer, to be honest. I'm not going to use SkyDrive because I just want to hurry up and get to the desktop here. So we get the intense high now. So it's checking for updates. Back in a moment. Alright, it's going to do probably one last reboot and then um, looks like we'll be good to go. So I will let you guys watch this reboot. So this is the boot logo for uh, Windows 8.1. They're going to change it back to, or uh, sorry, when it comes out, they probably will, will be the um, same one it is now. I haven't seen them switching to this fish, but you never know. It could be at the fish still. All right, so we're welcome back now. So I just want to use the computer now. So hopefully, lets me do that. All right, so I'm just gonna pause the recording until this crap's done. All right, so we got the let's start button here, or let's let's start, and it looks like we're back at our weather, or sorry, our home screen here. So I will um, go to the desktop and see how I fix the resolution. One second. All right, so now I just fixed the resolution for you guys, so you can see a bit better now. All right, so I'll go through some of the stuff that's new. So right off the bat, you're gonna see left hand corner here no hot corner instead we got a nice little start orb so I'll be curious if we will to change this with some third-party programs uh, we still we still have the ribbon UI or sorry, ribbon bar here but it seems to be a bit lower which is kind of weird I guess I don't even know so you click on that back to our uh, thing here and you can see that the widgets are different sizes now or sorry the tiles are different sizes so we have these small ones and then we have some huge ones so I can by right clicking on them it has new options so you can instantly name it so you can instantly name it um, I believe you can drag a whole group or something like that too you can pull them around so as you can tell the bigger the widget gets um, the more information is shown so the big weather widget is shown you know so it's weather you see it nicely big picture Another new feature, I guess if you swipe up like this, or if you tap with a, with a finger, or you press the arrow down, instantly goes to all your apps. So this is kind of a new way to get into all of your apps, whereas before you had to, it was a bit, a bit harder. So I'll go through the start screen customization. And if you notice right here, if you go to the bottom, and go to the hot corner and go to the bottom, the five tiles here, the five icons, are a bit lower, or if I take my mouse and go to the top, they're actually near the top. So this is a bit a bit of an improvement I kinda like. Um, it's pretty simple I guess, but you know it's something nice. So we'll go to personalize here. So we have background color and we can change it a bit more. We have much more shades than we used to have. And the accent, I'm not really sure what that is to be honest. I don't see a difference. Hmm, there. And we also have the option to change it to our wallpaper, which is kind of nice. So now we can switch back and forth. You know, it doesn't really change. So this is kind of a nice um, add-on. <coughs> we'll go ahead and see if there's anything else. So we have some um, default backgrounds that they obviously include. Oh, there we go. I figured it out. I think. Nope, didn't figure it out. Um, in the Windows 8.1 preview, these wall hairs don't work. Same as the leak, so they don't work. Okay, but um, so we'll go through some other stuff here. So the tiles, is there any tiles? No, nothing there. So we'll try and go to the change the PC settings here. See if there's any add-ons here. 
So we have the top setting, so picture, password, account, picture, lock screen. So devices, we have a slideshow on the lock screen. I think that's new. Um, we have the option to do our monitor displays while in here. I have two monitors, but the virtual machine only gets one of them. So that's, this is good. Um, Microsoft's trying to get you guys to do the modern UI settings, which I thought was really stupid because on the control panel, if you go through the windows and go to the control panel, there's much more options than there is on the modern UI settings. And if they're trying to get people to use it, I think they should be able to access everything they can on the modern UI as they can on the general windows. So I thought this was kind of dumb how they didn't let you change certain stuff. So they have added that there. Bluetooth devices are now here. Devices just like everything else you have. I'm um, a mouse and touchpad. So if you have a mouse or touchpad, typing, options, autocorrect, words, there we go, not big there. Now you have the option to actually disable um, corner navigation. So if you turn these off, then I cannot see, I go to the corner, I can't grab it. Now if I go to the bottom, it's still there, but I can't actually go to the top corner. So you have the option to disable those. Windows 8 also allows you to have up to more apps in the background than the previous one did. So you can do, I believe you can only do two on the last one, running at the same time, running like together, like this kind of thing. Um, if I can get to go, that kind of thing. You can only do an 80 20 split, and now you can do a bit different. So you can see I can do it in a much nicer way. And in my review of Windows 8 when it first came out, I said that they should try to add this where you can kind of do a better split. Um, to be honest, there's nothing you do which is you need this small unless you're in the commercial with a picture of the girl but besides that you really want like 50 50 so I think that's a big improvement to be honest so power and sleep we have um, power options if you have a laptop I don't have a laptop so autoplay options again something like the control panel adding more options same with PC info this, this kind of stuff was never here before so you guys can just see it tells you what you have in the computer. Obviously, I don't have 4.3 gigabytes of RAM. And I downloaded the 32 bit operating system because um, it is a smaller download. I don't feel like downloading a bigger one like that. Anyway, so we also have you can go back and you have accounts, SkyDrive, if you activate that, search an app so you can search with Bing. Bing is now integrated, I believe. I'll go through that in a second. And update, you can now check for updates built into it and the recovery option. Um, is built in as well. So I will go now and I'll go back to the desktop here. And one last thing before I go, I'll do the search. Now I'm probably, like I said earlier though, I'll probably do a full out review of this or I'll probably do a full out video. Um, but for now I'm just going to do one last thing which is a search. So you type right away. It searches everywhere instantly as you can tell. Boom, you have the options to change it here, but by default, search is everywhere, which is kind of, to be honest, a good idea. So if I just type in YouTube, for example, Bing is integrated automatically, so it gives you the option to go YouTube like this, and it opens up here, and you can open it up. Internet Explorer 11 is also built in. It's coming to Windows 7, I believe, pretty soon, so if you're um, interested, you can do that as well. But, yeah, that's about it though for this video. Anyways guys, that's about it for this video of Windows 8.1, installing it in a couple minutes of just looking at it. So, leave your opinion below. I'm not saying I'm going to fully upgrade to it. Well, I'll show you. I probably will because it's an update. But, uh, just let, let me know how you guys think of it. If you're interested in trying it yourself, um, you can download the ISO file below. Or you can update your computer fully to it. But I would not suggest that for one reason, one reason only. Because you cannot upgrade to the final release of Windows 8.1 if you upgrade to the preview version. If you have a question on that, leave a comment below and I will answer it in a better full out explanation. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy and I'll see you in my next YouTube video. This is the Hacker Triple 07 and I'm signing off.